Hello there folks, my name is Great Muddy Poe, and welcome to this quick little tutorial on how to down patch your Dark Souls 3 EXE if you wish to play mods for the foreseeable future. So, I apologise for not getting this video out sooner. I was hoping by this point we would have updated support for Mod Engine for the latest version of Dark Souls 3. We do not, and most mods at the moment are just recommending to down patch, so yeah. It's pretty simple though, pretty straightforward, and it's really easy to do. So this is where you can grab the EXE. I'll put this link down in the description for the website. Um, I don't really trust downloading random EXEs from random people, but I do trust this site, so this is where I grab it. Um, you can find links to Dark Souls 3 EXE elsewhere on the internet, but I wouldn't trust them. This is a nice safe spot. Lots of people are using this one, so it's what I'd use, because it is what I use. <laughs> so, you want to download patch 1.15, don't grab 1.15.1. That needs to be patch 1.15. Make sure you grab that one. Not any of the other ones, patch 1.15. Okay. And so when you download that, you'll get this Dark Souls 3 .zip. Open that up, and you have a Dark Souls 3.exe. So, where do you put this? Well, you go to Steam, you right click on Dark Souls 3 Game Library, you go Manage, and you go Browse Local Files. Then you go Game, and here you go. This is where your exe is housed. Now, if you do want to play vanilla still, I recommend you copy this exe somewhere else onto your computer. So you can switch it around as you please if you want to go back to playing vanilla. You can just switch it around as you please. But I don't need to do that because I only play mods, so yeah. Um, and so now you need to take this exe here, just drag and drop that into your game folder. Place the one in there. There you go, you're down patched. Just like that. That's the only part that got changed in the update was the exe, so that's, that's, the e that's just down patched. Sorry, I kind of let them try to thought here. So you go to properties, just quickly, and go details, and just make sure that it is version 1.15.0.0. If it's 1.15.1, then you've got the current version, and you've done something wrong. So, yeah. Um, the other thing to note is you will need to launch this EXE from now on. Do not launch through Steam, or it will attempt to update it. So, launch this EXE from now on, you know, pin this folder into your quick select over here. It'll be a... Uh, a little bit annoying, but it's not too annoying. You can create a shortcut to this on your desktop site if you want to. And yeah, that is the tutorial. So once again, this is what you need to do to get all mods working for Dark Souls 3 for the time being. Um, when we do have updated mod engine support, I will put out update tutorials for all my tutorials I've currently got, plus maybe a few more if they're required. Uh, but until then, this is how you play Dark Souls 3 mods. So. The same mod structures for installing mods apply, just need to down patch the EXE now as well, just an extra step. But yeah, that's it, that's that's the tutorial, that's quick. Uh, so yeah, I hope this helps you out, and I hope you have fun playing mods, because I certainly do. So yeah, once again, I thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take care guys!